The Berenstain Bears Think of Those in Need. Almost all bears discover in a little while that what they've outgrown makes quite a pile. The bear family enjoyed the good things in life as much as anyone else. They enjoyed good food and good times. They enjoyed a snug tree house and a comfortable chair before a crackling fire. They enjoyed books and music, toys and games, quilts and cuckoo clocks. But sometimes it seemed, especially to Mama, that perhaps the bears were enjoying too much of a good thing. It was also clear to Mama, as she managed the treehouse, that they had a problem. A problem that came under the heading of too much stuff. Oh, their toys are all over the floor, aren't they? Too much stuff in the closets. Too much stuff in the drawers. Too much stuff in the basement. Too much stuff in the attic. There was too much stuff everywhere. It all made Mama a little uneasy. It was beginning to be a worry. Papa thought there was a too much stuff problem too, but he was more annoyed than worried. Annoyed about a fast wheels car that brother had left on the stairs. Oh, he tripped on it, didn't he? And a squeaky duck that sister had left in the bathtub. Squeak. But there was much more on Mama's mind than fast wheels, cars, and squeaky ducks. What was beginning to worry her was that they had so much, while some others had so little. And as sometimes happens with a worry, when you go to bed, it can turn into a nightmare. That's what happened to Mama. Too much stuff, too much stuff. All the stuff is chasing her and yelling too much stuff. In her dream. One night she dreamed that all their stuff came to life and poured out of every drawer and closet and nook and cranny in the house chanting too much stuff, too much stuff. What's the matter Papa when Mama asked Papa when Mama woke up screaming? It was just a dream my dear Mama said but though it was a dream she knew what she had to do. The next morning at breakfast she made an announcement. This family, she said firmly, has altogether too much stuff. It's time we get rid of some of it. Stuff, said brother, what sort of stuff? Stuff like dolls with no heads, Mama said. Broken airplane models. Old puzzles. Games that nobody plays with. And fast wheels cars on the stairs and squeaky ducks in the bathtub, chimed in Papa. Now, wait a minute, protested sister. That's all our stuff. What about some of your stuff? My stuff, said Papa. Like what? Like your 17 fishing rods, said brother. And the zillions of old fishing magazines you have stacked up in the attic, added sister. But those are all valuable collectibles, said Papa. Mama groaned. Look who's groaning, said Papa. What about those shelves and shelves of old cookbooks you never look at and those bits of yarn and cloth you're never going to use? All right, agreed Mama. I guess we all have a lot of things we don't really need. That's just my point. What should we do with it all? The Bear family thought for a minute. Hey, said Brother, let's have a yard sale and make a fortune. Yeah, great idea, agreed Sister and Papa. But that was not what Mama had in mind. She had been thinking more and more about all those folks who had so little, especially with Christmas coming on. But what could the Bear family do? Mama already had a plan in mind. First, she had Papa and the Cubs go through all their stuff and make three piles. In one pile were things like old board games and puzzles. In another, all their forgotten but still good toys and sporting goods. And in another, clothes and furniture, extra cookbooks, and unused fishing rods. When the bears piled everything into the car, there was hardly enough room left for them. Where are we going, said sister. First stop, said mama, is the old bear's home. The old bear's home was where older bears went to live when they needed help taking care of themselves. 
Nurses and doctors looked after them and made sure they were in good health. But sometimes the older bears got a little lonely and bored. They liked visitors and things to do. That was part of Mama's plan. When the family arrived at the old bear's home, they handed out their games and puzzles to the older bears and then sat down to play games and do puzzles with them. At first, brother and sister were a little shy and embarrassed. The older bears were just so old. But after a while, they got over it. The bears in the home weren't any older than their neighbor, Miss McGriz, and she was okay. Soon, they were having a fine time, and so were all the older bears. They were all sorry when it was time to leave. The next stop was the Bear Town Young Cubs Hospital. Brother and sister knew about the hospital. Brother had gone there to get his ankle x-rayed the time they thought it was broken, and sister had come along to watch. The bears dropped off their load of unused toys. They were welcome. The hospital workers said the toys would be given out at the hospital Christmas party. On their way out, they saw a young bear in a wheelchair with his leg in a big cast. They were glad they had brought the toys. He looked as if he could use some cheering up. Their last step, stop was the Bear Town Bears Who Care store. This was the store that sold things to raise money for needy bears. Bears who needed warm clothes and good food. The store was run by bears who wore uniforms and often played in a band in front of the store. There it says, Bears Who Care, and there's their little band playing in front of the store. The bears lugged all their old clothes and furniture and stuff into the store. On the way, they stopped to sing a few Christmas carols with the band. There was a big iron pot out on the sidewalk for collecting money for the needy. Papa gave sister a dollar to put in it. They headed home with warm feelings about what they had done. As they drove along, they passed the lighted windows of the Beartown department store. They were beautifully decorated for Christmas. There was window after window of new toys and games, new things for the house, and the very latest things in fishing poles. But the members of the Bear family were so filled with special thoughts about helping others that they hardly noticed the wonderful things in the windows. except maybe out of the corners of their eyes. B and